You've taken care of everybody else. But when is it your turn? You need a new way of living life. A way that doesn't leave you constantly burnt out, exhausted, lonely, disconnected, and just lost. It starts with trusting the voice inside. The voice that's telling you you're worthy to step into a safe place. A place where you can renew your energy, recharge your body, nourish your soul, and explore your heart alongside a group of women who will support you, laugh with you, and accept you. A place that gives you the tools to liberate yourself from your limiting beliefs, realize your true potential, and recognize your greatness to discover a better way to live. This is the Transformation Retreat. Positive focus, you got it, what happened? I always am so negative with stuff, but it's almost like I showed myself that I can do it and it's put my mind to it, I can get it done. So I'm capable of more than I'm giving myself credit for kind of a consistent theme that we tend to have. Sometimes we make something way too big. We make it bigger than it actually needs to be. And if we do break it up into small chunks, if we do just like have that adherence of like getting five minutes, right? You could do two minutes in the morning when you don't have time for squats or push-ups or just pick one thing and probably feel pretty empowered and probably like gain a lot from it. It's just the mind over matter to have the adherence to decide to do it. Pretty freaking awesome. I, I really do enjoy working out. For me, I was like, oh, I can't do this workout. And then a part of me was like, no, I could kick some ass and do this and I can get this done. And it's always, it's always nice to prove that to yourself. This retreat was extraordinary. Being with a group of, of women, I feel connected in a more intimate way. I felt my own inner, inner self needing that. Every single thing we did was like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is what I needed. Oh, this was so great, like everything. People here really care about you as an individual. I can divulge certain things about myself, myself and still feel like I'm loved and, be, and belong. Since being here, I saw the importance of communicating with, with the people next to you, around you. Everybody's dealing with this, pretty much the same stuff. I put it on myself like, oh, if they knew this about me, then they're not gonna be my friend anymore. But after, after going through what I've gone through, your true friends don't really give a fuck. And the lie that I'm saying to myself is that, you know, all these beautiful women are gonna know that thing about me. And they're gonna care if I don't. Sometimes you get wrapped up in, in what um, you think is important to you to yourself and then somebody points out something that maybe you should think on these things and then you're just like you t you're taking another direction that is actually really a lot more helpful it wasn't part of the plan but because I was in a safe place it was a place where things happen outside of you or I and so I, I liked that I I have felt so much in my life that I haven't been worthy of a lot like love or like deserving of things and it's just my own personal fucked up brain I guess um, but I was in treatment. Is your brain fucked up? No it's not. I have a good brain. You um, do. You have do. You look like beautiful. Pediatric. Brain. Yeah. But I think I was I was in treatment for a while for some medical stuff and um, one of our uh, counselors was telling us in group, it was a pretty intense group, he said this quote that I still remember to this day, he said, you are here, you are breathing, you are alive, you are worth it. And I tell myself that all the time, especially when I can't get out of bed to just do the yeah. littlest thing. So. I have it tattooed on my arm that you're worthy of more than you, you think and you're worthy of self-care, you're worthy of self-love, being your true authentic self, you're worthy of that. So many of us I mean, maybe knew each other's names before we got here today, but like that's really, or this weekend, but that was really it. And the fact that I feel like women in particular are willing to be open with strangers <laughs> in this type of an environment and just 
share and be real and authentic with each other and I find that really powerful so I just felt like I had this overwhelming feeling of just being really blessed to like be in this space and to be doing this this weekend with you guys so Connected. I just thought it was really cool. We're just laughing and getting to know these lovely women who are all coming to the table with their own stories, um, good and bad, and the laughter and certainly the cooking because I love to cook. This is one of the best things because there's no judgment. I thought it was fabulous. I don't think there's anything more I appreciate than when I'm talking with someone who's speaking their true self and that's what I appreciated most. Being here, I, I feel better, I'm stronger. Not only is it a lot of fun, but you know, it's a time to kind of turn inward and push the world out even for 48 hours. But it's almost like a nice way to escape and to see like who I really am and to kind of maybe think about like, hey, I can take this home with me. My advice is to invest in yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, first and then you're able to take care of others. It has definitely met all of my expectations of renewed energy and mindset and uh, just a sense of self. This is something that you need to do for yourself. Yeah.